My name is Tasatsen, Patrick Kelly, past board chair of the Victoria Foundation. With the discovery on May 28, 2021, of the 215 unmarked graves of First Nations children on the grounds of the former residential school in Kamloops, we as Canadians witness the Catholic Church lose its guarantee of public morality. The Government of Canada can no longer deny that its colonial policies directed towards Indigenous peoples included genocide. As a father of Stalo children, I sought the guidance of our wise teachers, our Sila, the grandmothers, on the role of a parent. According to our ancestral teachings, the role of the parent is to raise your child to be a self-supporting individual using their gifts and talents. If, after taking care of themselves, they have more, then they help take care of the family. If they have more still, then they help take care of the community. And if they have even more yet, they help make the world a better place. These are the ancestral teachings of our people. I can't think of any culture in the world that would have any different wishes for their children. One of the great programs that the Victoria Foundation administers is the Irving K. Barber Post-Secondary Scholarship Program for First Nations students. First Nations students all across BC receive support for their post-secondary studies. Two other programs that the, the Foundation provides include support for homelessness and food security. Many of the clients of these programs are the intergenerational survivors of the residential school program. The Victoria Foundation, a number of years ago, embarked on its journey of reconciliation. The board, staff, and volunteers of the Foundation all took training programs to better understand the truth of the Indigenous policies and practices that took place here in British Columbia. Working together, the Foundation and all of its supporters have a very strong commitment to work together continuously to rebuild a foundation of a society that is respectful for all. We are very hopeful that these efforts continue so that we can all work together for the kind of Canada that we all hope to have. We all need to work together to rebuild the foundation for our country that has been so badly shaken. Again, according to our ancestral teachings, there's a word in our Halkameo language, shwili, means that we are all connected. We all need to work together to help make this country the place that we want it to be.